Hey Cancer, welcome to your Express Love Reads for this weekend, the 13th to the 15th of December. Look, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit those comments um, because the sign with the most engagement over the next couple of weeks will continue to get uh, bonus reads. So I'll be doing bonus reads right up till the end of the year. Also, don't forget, if you don't know already, I am giving away a free personal reading uh, sometime after the 20th. So uh, you will need to be no getting notified of how to enter that. So hit the notification and the subscribe button as well to be eligible for that. Ooh, what's happening here? Okay, maybe some missed opportunities going on recently for some of you. All right, let's get started though with this read. So love messages, please, for cancer. Love messages for cancer for the 13th and the 15th. Ooh, okay, we're taking these guys here. We want both. Interesting. Okay, cancer. I feel like you're kind of finally feeling good about being single for some of you or just regaining your independence from maybe what was a bad situation in the past um, but you've 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 um, conquered those demons in your mind and it feels good you're like you know what I actually enjoy my own company Whoops. flipper 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 yeah, I think because in the previous situation, you weren't really being honest with yourself. You knew that it was a situation that wasn't giving you what you wanted. Um, you weren't actually growing as a human or through your experiences with that person. And you probably stayed in the situation longer than you should have, which is okay. Um, oh, my please. Thank you. oh, that's sorry. That was way too many. Very low light here. I can't quite see, so I need to turn the light on. I'm blind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you're kind of like, although that the the situation is not closed because you haven't fully healed, but you're working on it. You're doing everything you can to heal from this situation, um, and that it is confirmation in the upright that you're doing all the right things to heal from this situation. That's the high priestess in the upright. All right, let's um, talk about why this reading is coming out. I think maybe you might be having some doubts. So for this weekend, the 13th to the 15th, please. Choo. Yeah, the 10 of, um, 10 of sticks was just there. All right, nine of pentacles, please. Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Okay, you're busy manifesting. I think this is just a confirmation reading for some of you, Cancer. Like you're comfortable in your own skin again. You're busy manifesting what it is you really want, setting those intentions to the universe. You kind of know where you went wrong in the past. For some of you, you may still be holding on or allowing this person to remain in your life though for some of you. And it's kind of like... Okay, for some of you, you're trying the friends thing, I think. Let's have a look at this. Uh, the Ace of Swords in reverse, please. Mm, yeah, holding on. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. To what? Okay. You may have a uh, some sort of work connection. But I think they are maybe trying to convince you to work on it or that there's hope for the future or you're focused on holding on to maybe we can still work on things. But I always read this in the reverse as you not being true to yourself because I always feel like with this particular one, the sword looks like it's pointing back at yourself. So it's like you're just harming yourself by not being honest. So I think for some of you, Although you're starting to get used to this idea of your independence and being apart and being single, which is the single card, there's still some of you who may be holding on to the idea that, well, maybe we can still work it out in the future. You know, though, that you're not being true to yourself. You know that that's not the best thing for you. You know that there's no growth in this situation with this Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, but it's like you can't quite close this door with the world card in the reverse. You're working on it though. You are actually much further along than you were 
a week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago. So you're heading in the right direction. Otherwise, that high priestess should be in reverse. So good things still, but you need to be honest about what's going on in your life. Seven of Pentacles, please, in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, you knew, like, there's no opportunity for long-term commitment here. Like, it wouldn't have fulfilled you. Even though you care so much about this person and you love them to, from the bottom of your heart, they were never going to be able to grow you in the way that you need to be grown as a human here. And he's in the upright here. But I pulled it in the reverse. So it's like, you've learned all you can from this relationship, but it's, it's almost like you're so attached to it that you don't want to let go even though you know you've learned everything you can. And that final stage of learning is that learning to let go. You're still holding on. And this is why the door can't close because you haven't completed your learning yet, yeah? But again, you're working on it. Let's do most likely outcome for this weekend, please. Most likely outcome for this weekend. Okay, some guy just tried to pop through. Most likely outcome, please. Okay, uh, too many cards. Sorry, I thought it was just one or two. <sighs> I hate it when that happens. Okay. Oops, okay. Right. Okay. Sorry, I'm having a conversation in my head, which probably isn't helping you guys. Cancer. Okay, so... I, it could start off as a bit of a rough weekend, I'm not going to lie. You've got the three swords here in the upright. However, one more please. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and you've got the ace of cups in the reverse as well. But the important thing that happens in between that is, and it's not a good thing, but it's an important part of this process closing. And I think that's why you're getting this message so that you can actually prepare for this and know when it happens, this is happening for a reason and this it will hopefully make sure that it hurts a little bit less. So you have the Five of Cups in reverse and that was clarified by the Knight of Swords in reverse. So I'm basically being told here in terms of outcome that there's heartbreak on the way and it's going to hurt. But you're not going to be crying over spilt milk for, for long. You're not going to be sitting there wishing that it was different. And the reason for that is because someone's actually going to do something a little bit nasty or hurtful or not thinking like, I'm feeling like someone's going to post something or someone's going to say something or it's going to be the kind of thing that's uh, silly selfish, not malicious selfish, but you're going, to, you're going to see them for their true colors is what I'm getting here. That's the moment that you are going to realize that this cup cannot be filled anymore. It really cannot be filled. That's going to help you with your closing out this world card and putting it in the upright, okay? So whatever happens this weekend, if it hurts, just know that that's actually meant to hurt and it's part of this process that you're going through at the moment. So it's okay and there will be better times ahead, I promise. I did say that I saw the sun card popping out, so that's a sign that this is all moving towards an even better situation. Um, what that is, don't know. Okay, let's get some advice, please. Advice for cancer. Advice for cancer. Okay. Oh, I just got block, delete, heal. <laughs> so, uh, and this is a block communication. Repeating energy is very powerful right now. Very powerful. I don't know how it always happens in the outcome of the repeating energies. Uh, sorry, and in the advice. Oh, wow. Huh. I'm going to take one more, please. Because we're talking so much about the, the lack of growth, yeah? And it's almost like unlocking this and going through that heartbreak is actually going to transform you and push you back on your growth path. One more, please. Yeah, 
and you you are you are going to get back on track you're coming out of the cold with yourself and getting back on your actual path that you are supposed to be on because i think you're a bit off path at the moment you kind of stuck holding on to something that is dated it's expired finished i hate delivering these messages all the time but i feel like not all the time but generally when i have messages like this but i feel like for this one it's like it's it's uh hurting for all the right reasons it's powerful in a good way like this is going to um springboard you uh, onto your next bit which is amazing this is saying to me though um don't there's there's nothing left to say here okay it's going to hurt either way so whatever happens here don't get stuck in a communication situation just block it let it go heal go through your heartbreak and heal and then that's what's going to push you onto your right path again you're going to be back on track that's all i can kind of hear is you're getting back on track and in the right time so um because it's like you've fallen behind in your timeline now so if you fall behind in your timeline then when the other your right person is ready you haven't done your work so you guys meet you're not in vibration and so you have to go through that whole process of meeting again and seeing if you're at the right, right vibration blah 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 all right let's do romance angels romance angel oh hello that just dropped out of the deck really weirdly and it's separation so I don't know how else to communicate to you other than all of this, which is saying the same message over and over again. You've got repeated cards over and over again. You've got, um, you know, this lack of growth over and over again. And then you've got the words. So it's not just me reading the energies. It's actually the words telling you what needs to happen right now. Okay. Now, there's nothing to say that this won't change in the future. But for the moment, you need to let it go and do your own work. Okay? That's what needs to happen. All right, Cancer, that's what I've got for you. That was a, I feel really energized from this. I do not feel drained from this. So I don't want anyone walking away from this thinking, oh my God, this is the worst thing that ha can happen this weekend. It's actually not. I know it hurts. It's going to hurt. But it's actually going to be so powerfully good for you i promise you that's why i'm feeling like charged up over this i can't explain it any other way um but when they're really sad and i know that it's going to be um you know a long healing process and things like that i feel really drained from the reading and i feel it like my heart hurts i'm not feeling that from this so this is definitely a powerfully good situation that's about to happen this weekend all right, have a great weekend. Hang in there. Talk in the comments to each other. This community is amazing for supporting one another. I will always respond to all of your messages as well. Um, so if you need to talk to people, reach out. We're always here, okay? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the notification button so you can be eligible for those personal reads. Um, but yeah, this is, this is actually for your highest good this weekend. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.